Go ahead and slate for the camera. Shelly West reading for Moretti. Great, whenever you're ready. Do you know what synesthesia is? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Stimulation of one sensory or cognitive pathway leading to automatic involuntary experiences in a second sensory or cognitive pathway. Like someone who smells color or sees music. Right. Why? Yeah, well, because I have that. Do you? Really? Uh, so tell me, what does Beethoven smell like? In addition to color graph synesthesia, I have a more exotic offshoot called mirror touch, mm -hmm. where I have these vivid ex responses to people's physical experiences, pain, stimulation, whatever they feel, it's echoed in me. Echoed? Yeah, we all have mirror neurons that fire when we act or observe the same action in others. Like when somebody yawns and it triggers a yawn in you, like with me, mm -hmm. the mirror neurons stimulate sensory neurons to fire at an abnormally high level, like all the time. So with patients, you see something, you feel an echo, and then the trigger's like a hunch? No, it's strong hunches based on the extra data I have available to me. Oh. Okay, well, I'm super smart, and I can expedite an MRI by pushing my tits out. We all have our thing. Why are you so secretive? Because people usually look at me like, like the way that you're looking at me. If they believe me, they think I'm damaged or freakish. If they don't, I'm a loony or a faker. Okay. Look, maybe you're making too big a deal out of this. I mean, okay, you have a strong sense of intuition. No, it's not just an intuition. Whatever it is, you're not the only one with strong feelings. And right now, my feelings are mostly hostile. So, look, the bottom line is, you know, come here. Do you see that girl? Mm -hmm. Science is going to get her well. Okay, not some hocus pocus party trick. Medical science. That's what we need to focus on. Hey! <laughs> hey, -o.